So a mentor, a coach and a consultant walk into a bar and they start talking to the barman about what they do. And it turns out that they all work with CEOs. And the barman at this point seems quite confused. So he talk, turns to the mentor and the coach and the consultant and says, well, you all seem to be doing the same things. You all seem to have the same job. You work with the same person. And the mentor says, well, no, I don't think so. Let me give you my experiences of how I work with a CEO. So as a mentor, I bring my experience. I bring the situations that I've been in before. I have been a CEO in the position that you are in right now. Okay. I have been on your journey and I share those experiences and my network with you. Maybe we meet once a month for some lunch or a coffee. You call me when you need me, but it's a very proactive relationship. You reach out to me for help and support, and I will help you and support you with the challenges that you present me. Often I'll be able to tell you the things maybe that you're missing and give you some insights on your journey as a whole. But on the whole, really the way I work is I am there to help you with the challenges that you give me. And the barman looks at the coach and says, well, what about you? How do you work differently with CEOs? And the coach talks and thinks about it a bit more. And here's what I would say as a coach. So as a coach, I come from a, a different kind of background. I still have the experience in industry. I have 15 years of working in business, in tech. I've worked with CEOs for much of that time. So I still bring a lot of experience to the table, but I am not there to tell you what to do. Whereas the mentor would tell you what they would do in the situation you're in. That's not my job. My job is to equip you with the skills, resources to be able to make your own and to define your own journey and deal with the challenges yourself. I'll be there to support you in them. Don't get me wrong. But it's about equipping you and upskilling and upleveling you to be a better leader with a stronger mindset and a deeper skill set. So a lot of what I bring are frameworks and approaches to think about the situations that you're in. If you're dealing with conflict among senior leaders. Here's a framework for us to understand that and to deal with that. The situations you're dealing with both in the boardroom, but also with your spouse and with your friends as well. We look at the kind of whole holistic element of your life. And typically what a coach will do, which differs from a mentor, is go deeper. So if you think about it as a series of layers of an onion, what the coach will do is keep working through those layers. So you may present a challenge and we will deal with that and come up with a solution. But we'll also look at, well, how did that challenge arise? How did you as a leader create a culture or a place where those sorts of things can happen. How did you initially decide to deal with that? What did your experience and your background and your upbringing bring to the table? And how can we up level those things so you are a stronger, happier, healthier, more successful and lighter leader? Ultimately, it's about lightness and effortless success. Okay. How can you turn up and feel amazing doing what you're doing? So a lot of what the coach brings then is Elements from mentoring and experience within business, but that's a small part of it, but also elements from other areas as well. So psychology, elements of therapy, they bring all of those things in there to help you as a leader define a vision and get through and get to the place you're in. So the barman looks at the consultant and says, OK, well, what do you do? And the well, consultant really talks about how they and what they bring to the table. So a consultant typically deals with the CEO when they have a presenting problem or a problem. And they will give that problem to the consultant. The consultant will go away, come back with a solution, with a way of dealing with it, with their own particular way of dealing with it, which often is based heavily on experience, which again is great, methodologies and approaches, but it's about the presenting problem. Again, similarly, consultants tend to be very reactive to the problem that's presented to them. The best consultants are proactive and, of course, look for the, the underlying causes of the problems they're facing. They typically deal with a one challenge or one problem at a time. They don't look at the kind of holistic whole. The barman says, OK, I think I get this. He turns to them. He looks at them and he says, he turns to the mentor and says, I get it. You are about experience and having been on that journey before. You offer that point of view of somebody who's been there. He looks at the consultant and says, OK, I get it. You've got the experience, the background, the frameworks to deal with particular problems and challenges. Nothing that is presented to you is anything new. You just know how to deal with that challenge and you'll go away and deal with that. Then he looks at the coach and says, I see it. it's about looking at the CEO as a rounded human being and looking at all of their challenges, going deeper in terms of them as a human being to set vision and to upskill and uplevel them in terms of being a better leader with a stronger mindset and a stronger skill set. And all through them nod their head and says, yes, you've got it. Thanks very much for your time for watching this. So if you want to go deeper with me, 
there's a number of things that you can look at down there. The first of them is a series of playlists. I have a playlist for enterprise CEOs, for founder CEOs, and for first-time CEOs. I only work with six CEOs every year. I do have an upcoming slot. If you'd be interested in um, applying for that slot, there's some questions down there that I would love you to answer to see if there's a mutual fit. I'm also running a um, mastermind group coming up later this year for founders who are on the road to an exit to selling their business. If you'd like to join that, let me know. But also down there, I've got a podcast of some audio recordings of all of my mindset, skill set shifts for leaders. Two or three minute audio clips that help you very quickly up level your mindset and skill sets are great for, for all of you leaders out there. Thanks very much for your time. And I will see you again in the next video.